guys, this your boy TNT. I'm here with, well, Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam, hey guys. Before we start, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Guys, I know y'all been talking about this video for a long time. We're going to make some sausages, sausages guys. Homemade. Not none of this stuff. We're going to make everything fresh, homemade sausages. Our ingredients, we're going, you're going to start off with the uh, pork butts. And Uncle said you did the hard work by what? Cutting the bone out. Uncle said you bone all these pork butts. We got about, let me see, about, about 30 pounds of pork butt. So we're going to go ahead and walk you through. They've been washed, deboned with a pork butt. And we're just going to do one of them on camera, okay? So that fat cap, you want to keep all that fat cap, guys. Okay. You want to keep everything on here. All that's good. This is about an 80-20 ratio. 80% meat, 20% fat. That's what pork butts are good for. So I like to just go ahead and just cut across the uh, bone like that. Just cut them in steaks, so to speak. And then from now, you want to just... Uh, Cube them up in an inch cube, okay? And we just got these straight out of the refrigerator, right, Uncle Said? Yep. We want them cool. We want them uh, cool. And before we grind them, we may just throw them in the deep freezer for a couple minutes. All right, I'm just putting that over there. Okay. And we, these are the squares we want them because we want them to grind. We want, we want a nice grind on them. Uh, slicing all this stuff up, okay? Yeah, so, uh, get, yeah, man. okay, we're going to get Uncle Said a knife. We're going to get this knocked out. And we'll bring you back with our next step, okay? Over here, deep freeze over here. And these been deep freezing for two days, okay? A day, actually, I'm sorry, a day. So we're gonna put the head of the, uh, we're using a, the big die. We're using the biggest one you can use, the uh, with the big coarse holes in it. We want a coarse grind. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, set that on our uh, grinder. All right. And we're gonna just put our, uh, we're gonna stuff the meat on. And these are ice cold, man. Like I say, the colder you can get things, the better. And we're gonna go ahead and cut it on, I'm gonna say. All right, let's start. Let's go ahead and put it down there. Let's start feeding up there, like that. Let's start. Me and Unc didn't work hard. We didn't ground about 30 pounds of pork butt. And this is what we got. We got our sausages, okay? So to this, I added, it says a half ounce per pound. So since we're doing, uh, so we're doing 30 pounds, guys, we, we're doing uh, 15 ounces, okay? So it's a half ounce per pound. So we're doing uh, 15 uh, pounds of this and ice water and this is tender quick mixed with water okay so we just gonna add this in right here okay so and this is uh one quart a little bit over one quart 32 ounces of water but it got ice in it, so, uh, and, that, and that, that's how we're going to get that hammy, curry taste by what we just did, okay? And we just want to go on in and roll up my sleeves, take my watch off, <laughs> bling, bling, <laughs> and I'm just going to go ahead and, and get this tender quick with the ice water mixed in real good. So as you can see, we got the curry now, and I'm going to go ahead and start adding our other mixtures, okay? I'm gonna take my gloves off and I'm gonna start adding the other mixtures, okay? And, all right. And I may add a little bit more paprika. So to the black, to, I'm gonna add uh, a cup and a half of, of red chili flakes, okay? This is not gonna be spicy, but we're gonna have a little heat ground black pepper. I'm gonna add a cup of that. A, couple and a quarter of coarse ground black pepper to that, okay? All right, 
secret ingredient, guys. Margarine. So we're gonna add this whole uh, um, 40 ounces to this, okay? A margarine. All right, we're gonna add some white pepper to this. All right, we, we added uh, a white pepper. We added probably uh, 64 ounces of white pepper. We're gonna add uh, 20 ounces of fennel seeds, okay? All right. 8.5 ounces, 85 ounces of mustard seeds to our uh, mixture. Mace. We add margarine, I'm just gonna add mace to our mixture. So we'll probably add uh, about, about, uh, the whole thing of, of mace. Now I'm gonna add a lot of cayenne pepper, guys. So I'll say probably about uh, three tablespoons. All right, that's it. We'll add a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. That'll help balance things out. Quarter cup of that. Guys, so we'll add our garlic, okay? We'll add probably uh, a, a half of a cup of garlic. Granulated garlic. Coarse ground kosher salt, okay? We don't want to over salt nothing, so uh, we gonna do two of those, okay? Cause we don't want to over salt nothing. We, so we'll do a, uh, probably a quarter cup of salt. All right, this is another secret ingredient. This is instant milk. We're gonna add four cups of this. And this is gonna help everything to emulsify and help your sausages to combine. All right. All right. That's a half. That's 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 probably three cups. I mean, that's, yeah. Add one more cup. Okay. So three to four cups of that. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm gonna mix this up. I'm gonna say you wanna get a frying pan so we taste the mixture. Yeah, yeah. So we, so when we mix it up, we can taste to see how how does it taste. So you need a frying pan? Yeah, we're gonna fry up a, a little a patty. Oh, like the sauce. Yeah, just to just to uh, taste oh, okay. and, and to see yeah, how it tastes. Yeah. Do we need to add salt? Do we need to add? Is it too spicy? Is it, yeah. Which is not. Yeah, I mean. All right, guys. So you want to make sure you get all this stuff well incorporated, okay? Well incorporated. Pair everything out. See how it tastes. And see what we need to do from there, okay? Alright guys. Alright guys, so we got the sausage stuffer ready. We got a casing on the uh, sausage stuffer. And me and Uncle Seth finna get ready to uh, stuff the sausages. So what I need Uncle Seth to do, if you can, is start killing up. And packing sausages in there, and and when you pack them, pack them in real tight. Like I said, use your fist for the first three or four. Okay. And we got a good consistency. It's cold sausage in. I got this right here. This this is for corn, but I'm gonna use this as my pricker to prick my sausage and get the uh, bubbles out of it. Okay. So that's what I'm gonna use. Actually, I think I got the wrong uh, horn horn on here, but that's okay. So, yep. So, Uncle Sam going to continue getting that, guys, and we'll bring in when we go to stuff it, okay? Got to wait? Yeah, I'm going to wait. Okay. Now, I'll have Uncle Sam to go to winding. And while he's winding, I'm going to hold these sausages. So, the air, and let's go over right there. We got sausages, okay? So, okay. I'm just going to go ahead and let Uncle Sam do that. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, okay. Yeah, just keep that, yeah, you got it. And while he doing that, I'm just turning, I'm just turning the sausages. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to get, I'm going the one that's uh, easier. Yeah, try this right here the way, I'm gonna say it, yeah, yeah, try it down. Yeah, yeah, go, yeah, go. And, no, other way, other way. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
That may work better for y'all instead of going towards you. Oh yeah. Slow it down a little bit. Slow it down a little bit. Yeah, good. Go ahead. Yeah. That's a lot better, Uncle Sid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't do it the first time. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. And what I'm trying to do is make sure you don't have no bubbles. Go ahead. You got it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, keep going. Mm-hmm, keep going. Uh-huh, and, 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 and I'm really trying to make sure that we get no air pockets in here. And that's why I'm holding tight. i make sure we get no air pockets, okay? Keep going, Uncle Sid, yeah. I think that's it. Okay, that's it, okay. Yeah. All right, wanna go ahead and put a, another hand, couple handfuls in there? Yeah. All right, put a couple handfuls in there and we'll finish this little link up, okay? Okay. Yeah, go here. Yeah. yeah, that's what we do. Oh, 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 I got a break, got a break. So here we got a bus, guys. And that's why I'm in it right now. Okay. We got a bus. Go ahead, open it up. Okay, so just put that back in my uh, pile. I'm gonna go ahead. No, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and, and take it off right now. Well, I'm gonna throw the strap away. I'm gonna tie a knot right here. Oh, do my best to tie a knot. I'm, I'm not a good knot tire. You don't want to spend your time trying to fix those. Uh, those holes, I mean those broken um, uh, casings, you just want to go and tear them off and uh, tie a knot. My hand was so big, I could tie a good knot, but I I got gloves on. Mm -mm. All right. So this is what we look like, guys. All right, we got a lot of stuff to make, so I'm gonna bring you in when we get the horn going. And I'll let you go from there, all right? Go ahead and fix it. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right there. I'm gonna see it on top of that, though. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this. What about that one right over there? See, it's coming. No. Go ahead and get a knot tie right there on, on my bad bay right there. All right, go ahead, Uncle Say. Go a little slower, okay? Okay. So, here you got Mm hmm. Yeah, you good now. They're getting started, so we good now. Okay. Mm hmm. Again, <laughs> tidy things off. Yeah, I see. Yeah. We're gonna have to measure things out and tie it out a little bit. All right. A bit more. That's good. Wouldn't be this much work, but it's a lot of work, ain't it? We'll see it. Yeah, it's a lot of work, yeah. Yeah, but we just make it look easy. But. A lot of work here, bro. Mm hmm. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in uh, 10, 10 and we're gonna put them in the refrigerator. What's up, guys? It's been three days since me and Uncle said grind, cured, and, and, and got the sausage in the casing. So right now, on camera, I want to rope them up, make links, okay? So we're going to make links. I'm going to bring you in close. I'm going to show you how we're going to do it on these sheet pans, okay? So uh, we're, doing, we're doing all that talking. Let's get to making links, okay? All right, guys, let me bring you in closer. All right, guys, so first we're going to bring our link out, okay? So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start by making our first link, okay, guys? So our first link, we want to kind of make right there, and we're going to twist this way, okay? All right, and I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go here, and I'm going to make that link uh, probably here. And we're going to make two links at one time. All right, so that's how we're going to do them. We're going to go here. We're going to go here and here. And uh, we all our links ain't going to be the same size, but they're going to be pretty close. All right, so that's how we're doing it, guys. So we're making two links at the same time. Since they linked up, 
You just put them right there. That's what I'm going to do. Like I said, some of them will be longer than others, but that's okay. Just by looking at them. And these are gonna go on the smoker, guys, okay? Oh. What I'm doing is basically, I got a link here. I'm gonna skip a link. I'm gonna go make my another link. That's pretty, that's probably a good size of that. I'm just gonna go towards me. And I'll make so now I got two links. You said two links. So that's how I'm doing two links. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna skip that link. I'm gonna go this link right here. And I'm just gonna go towards me like such. So I'm making two links at a time. Back, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to cut these sausages, and I'm going to ask, I'm going to sort them out. And we're going to put them on a the smoker. Put my sausages on. I got a smoker set. The uh, 150 degrees that smoke. I'm using my pit boss uh, 7 series. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start uh, put my sausages on the smoker, guys. Like I said, I'm uh, I'm using three sections. I want to put a little air between the sausage. Let them get all the smoke I can get on them. Okay. You want to make sure all your sauces get the same amount of smoke. So we're going to go ahead and bring the other pan in and get it all loaded up. Alright, I'm going to go on my next batch, guys, okay? Alright, guys, I'm loaded up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, close it up. And that's what we're looking like, guys, okay? All right, we, we're running at uh, 160 now. I'm going to close this thing up and let it smoke, okay? Hey, guys, all right, me and Unc here, we're about to, uh, and this been on the pit ball for six hours, right? I'm going to say it? At least. At 150 degrees, guys, and then you can see the smoke is barreling out of this thing. Woo. And come look at the color, man. Oh, my goodness. And I can touch these because we still going to bloom them. But look at the color, man. The color is amazing, that thing. Sure, yeah. Oh my goodness, the color. We got a smoke. We gonna That's blow them. Amazing how you did this, bro. Oh my goodness, look at that dough. You little sausage, man. Oh my goodness, and I'm telling you, they're not done though. We gonna uh, go to the next step. The next step will be blooming them. You guys, you see, we got a lot of sausage, man. Why don't you come on, folks? Then we're we'll shocking with some cold water, and 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 basically the season, the fat, everything is gonna bloom, and everything is just gonna be melting, and it go just jack, uh, gel up. Okay. And that's when you have the oh, finished product. Okay. Like gel up all around and then still in chunks. Instead, yeah, it, it, it okay. will be a little chunk soup, yeah, yeah, but yeah. but it's it gonna also coat everything. Yeah. And we'll have the season. Move around the whole sausage, okay? Awesome. It's gonna do everything. All right, guys. So we're gonna bring you in. We had the boiling water, okay? All right. All right, All right, guys. So I got some hot boiling water. This is what I call blooming my sausage, okay? So um, to a big pot of water. I got my sausages here. I'm just gonna drop them in, okay? And 
what this is is just gonna give them a, it's just gonna pump everything up and uh, get them ready to uh, fit. This is the last. What I'm doing is putting the uh, hot water, the sausages in the hot water, and this water is hot. I tell you that. Yep. So I'm gonna go do, continue doing that. All right. And I'll bring you back when I'm done. I think the sausages are, to me, they're done. They need to, uh, they done blown enough for me. I only reached up to 165 to 170. So, uh, arrange the sausages. So I'm going to end, um, pour this, uh, out. Okay. And what I want to do now is cold water, baby. Cold water. I'm going to put cold water on here. So, as you can see, we lost some color, but the color is going to come back, okay? Like, so, 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 you see the sausage is blooming. That's what I call bloom, basically when it when it swells up to its potential. And now you can really basically I'm trying to get all the uh moisture off the sausages. And I'm gonna get all the moisture I can off these sausages. Alright guys, so we are done with the first batch, man. Can y'all pick up this guy? I'm telling you what, man, look at this color. Look at the smokiness, look at everything, man. Yeah, we done with the first batch, man. Oh my goodness, yeah. So I'm gonna see, we watching the Mike Tyson fight, guys. I'm gonna see if I get Uncle Sid in here to uh, do a quick taste test and we're gonna bring y'all out, guys, okay? So me and Uncle Sid, what's up, up? What you think about the sausages? Man, they love it, boy. Hey, I think they came out the stove. Hey, but look at that color, man. Good, man. All right, it look real good, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut some up, post up, and then we're going to do a taste test. Oh, they've been smoked up, I said, at 165. I blew them. I had checked them at 165 degrees, but they cooled down. Mm -hmm. So they just, they, they're just smoked sausages, but they have, they're not hot. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and cut, cut one up for you and, and, and bring it to uh, and let you see what we eat. This hard work. Four days, wasn't it? Three, three yeah, or four days. I didn't be wrong, y'all. Okay, this is hard work, guys, but it paid off. Hey, before I forget, go to my boy Joe, Smokey Joe. I wish I would have did the little mark like you did, Joe, how you did the six and a half inches and marked them on the pan. Oh, so in your time, you, all the sizes are equal to the length. I didn't do that, Joe. But hey, that's what I'm saying. Go check Joe out. I caught a bug. Awesome sausage making guy, great video, great barbecue. But yeah, let's get to cutting on the scene. First time I ever seen him make, so. Okay, he guys. Him. So this is what we're gonna do, guys. Let that we're gonna cut that. Yeah, look at that upper seed. Oh, yeah. And look at that. You can that skin, can you? Mm -hmm. You see that moisture? You can see the moisture. Yeah. You can see the fat right there. Yeah, you, these, these are good sausages, man. Great sausage. Guys, you can see everything, guys, but uh, as you can see, I hope you see the juiciness, the different uh, <clears throat> seasonings, the black pepper specks, everything in there, the red pepper and all the seasoning. Look at the juice, guys. That's a real juicy sausage right there. And you can see how the milk has emulsified that. Look at that, man. Here. Mm. 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 Thank you, Uncle Sid. Mm. All right, guys. Mm. These are amazing. This is your boy, TNT Barbecue. Well, the Southern Sports State, I'm here with Uncle Sid. Hey, he did it. It's hard work, guys, but hard work pays off. Yeah. I love y'all, guys. 
God bless you and God bless America. We out of here. Peace. Peace.